Hi everybody, good evening. It's just about sunset time right now. I can see a beautiful sunset right in front of me. And uh, as I was walking through the forest, I just came across uh, a lot of termites flying around. So I just thought I'll speak again something about this. And uh, so basically all these termites are right now in something called as nuptial flight. This is a very short uh, period flight that they take. So uh, to speak about these termites and their life cycle, I just want to start off with uh, what happens before they come out of their underground homes and what happens during the flight and what happens after the flight. So just about when the weather clears off after a slight rain, and again the sun comes out and with slight moisture levels in the air still around uh, during sunset time specifically these termites uh, come out of their underground homes and uh, take a flight so what happens before the flight is that all the mature males and females which are very ready to mate are still waiting under the ground in their uh, homes and uh, when the rain clears off and the weather is perfect and apt again when the sun comes after the rain the moisture levels in the air are very favorable for them to survive the flight now what happens during the flight is that the female termites uh, release pheromones and uh, wait for the males to follow their scent and also slightly like uh, a competition they uh, try to avoid the males uh, chasing them and uh, also see that uh, only the capable males which are fit enough to fly for a longer time and a little distance uh, they try to mate with those males so that uh, their gene is stronger so what happens after the flight is that uh, both male and female uh, uh, termites uh, fall off on the ground and shed their wings and the male more or less uh, is almost uh, dead in some time but the females go back into the colonies and start laying their eggs but uh, the interesting fact is that uh, these females can actually store the sperm of the male in their bodies for a very long time uh, probably it is estimated as like up to until 20 years and whenever they want uh, they could uh, probably use that sperm and uh, create babies uh, according to the size of the colony or maybe the strength of the colony that they need. Now the same activity and uh, behavior is found across species of ants, termites, bees and also sometimes it is found in some species of flies. So this particular activity uh, what they go through uh, during their life cycle and the particular flight which is called as nuptial flight is a very crucial uh, part of their life cycle now also one interesting fact and uh, behavior that you can observe uh, across all these ants termites bees is that during their nuptial flight they come out in a very large numbers which is again um, used as a defense mechanism to escape from the predators because just as they come out of their homes there are predators like birds readily waiting uh, for their meal so to avoid that they come in large numbers and also immediately when they come out of their uh, underground homes they first disperse off into uh, a larger space uh, so that uh, they don't um, collide with each other and uh, almost uh, die and slowly as they go around uh, and fly for some time they find their mate and uh, quickly finish off their activity because they hardly have any energies left uh, in their bodies and uh, right now I can see some of them still flying here it's actually uh, when they come out in large numbers it is actually a very spectacular view of these interesting uh, species of termites and uh, ants and bees that go through their nuptial flight Thank you.